Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my weekly vlog. I'm going to try this sushi. So, I bought the sushi at Aldi's back in January. I ate half of it that day, and the other half I put into a food saver pack. So, I'm going to try it and see how good it, it is, is out of the pack. Seems like it, it defrosted well. Have a little bit of wasabi. I'm going to have some soy sauce with it. It was delicious, even after it's been in the freezer for two months. It was really good, guys. And uh, I don't think the sushi was that expensive. Maybe for something at Aldi's in the freezer section. was in the freezer section, I believe. I can't remember. But anyway, it was really good. I would pop on and do a Dollar General haul. Ran up uh, to the highway and bought a few things. Spent $24.78. Um, the bulk of that was some Zyrtec. I had meant to get this while I was in town and I forgot, but lucky for me, it's Saturday. All right. So they have the five off 25 and then they had five off the Zyrtec. So I actually saved, I saved $10. Yeah. I saved $10. Let's see. I saved $10. So that was good because this by itself was a $21. This eye has been watering and I think it's just allergy and uh, we're going to be going on vacation. So I wanted to go ahead and get the bigger pack. This is 40 tablets. I don't know how many you take. Take one tablet, one daily. Okay, so it's a 24 hour um, peel, 40 pills. So this will last me here, here and then I can um, already be taking this when we go on vacation. You know, anytime, if you have allergies and you go to a, another area that you're not normally at, my allergies will flare up. So, this will be good. I'll have this now and I'll have it still on vacation. So, that was $21. Uh, it's, it's soccer. It's not soccer season. It's track season. And the track meets, like, start as, like, they start early. And so there's not enough time to get off work, get home, eat, and then get to the track field, right? Like you have to be packed, you have to be ready to go. And then it's just takes forever. It's not like, you know, one game and you're done. Like you have to watch all the events and, and the, uh, my granddaughter, her events are the last like four events of the night. So we're there from early all the way until really late. So we, the first time, the first track meet, we didn't know what we were doing per se, and we didn't have any snacks. This last meet, we took snacks. And so I went ahead and got the snacks today while I went to go get the Zyrtec and some, um, some waters. Well, I'm gonna say waters. We got snacks. That's what I'm trying to say. All that to say I got snacks for the track meet. Pickles, these were $1.25. <laughs> it's funny because last time at the last track meet, they had the big jugs of pickles and uh, I waited too long. And by the time I decided to go to the concession, they were out. And um, so I just said, you know what, this time we'll take our own pickles and then we don't get, we won't be out. So those were $1.25 each. I got some Gardettos for vacation, but I also wanted some Gardettos for track. Um, these are just good. I'm going to package them and then I will have them. I can share some with my daughter if she wants some, with my granddaughter if she needs something to snack on. These will just be good. Uh, it's a half a cup for 150 calories. But I can just put some in the little snack size and we'll have those for a couple of track meats. Everything else I got was $1, and these are just snacks to have over the course of several track meets. The Reese's Thins, $1. These were new. Twizzler Gummies, $1. Watermelon Rings, I like watermelon rings and peach rings, but I didn't see peach rings, so I just got the watermelon rings, $1. Some Skittles, $1. And some checks. 
um, Cheez-Its rather, these were $1 as well. So just a variety of snacks that I can um, package and put in our snack bag and uh, have those over the course of several track meets. And then I, what I went for, this is what I went for, honestly, some of these lemon lime, zero caffeine, zero sugar um, waters, right? Yeah, carbon, it's carbonated water. I have, I have, I, I was on a kick of drinking a lot of water there for a long time and I still do drink a lot of water but I find myself drinking more Cokes as well. A crisp Coke. Y'all know I always say, and a crisp Coke. Whatever I'm eating, and a crisp Coke. So I want to get away from that. And so I got some of these so that I can make, y'all know I have all of, <laughs> I'm pointing towards the refrigerator, but to y'all it looks like I'm pointing towards the waters. Anyway, y'all see I have all my water flavors. Um, and so I got some of these to make those water flavors and they're only a dollar. And I think I can get like two, two waters in a, you know, my big Yeti with one of these. So that's what I got guys. That is it. Y'all see um, that guy up there? <laughs> that little bird, he's drying his wings off. It's been raining this morning. The video about a week or two ago, I talked about my sunglass case that I have in my car, which is this and I had purchased these sunglass cases at the store at the Dollar Tree in West Columbia, Texas. And I was looking for more of these sunglass cases because I need more than I got. I picked up all they had that day, which was six. The reason why I need them is because my, my Quay sunglasses, some of, the, some of the glasses came in these little bags and just from years of them, being in my car and that they are just icky and I don't know if y'all can tell you see all those little fibers on that lid right there that is from these little bags so I want to change out my Quay sunglasses that came in these little bags and now they all didn't come in those little bags some of them are in these cases like that anyway I want to get those changed out and just a clean up my sunglass case. I brought my uh, pack of diaper wipes. So I get everything a wipe down and a resorted into well, I that I would bag. share with y'all my Quay a sunglass collection. I love them all. They're just awesome. I love to coordinate my sunglasses with my outfits. These are the Quays that were in those uh, kind of dilapidated cases. So I've, I've already have um, the Dollar Tree cases for them. Here's one and the last one. Now these are a little different in that if you put them on, it turns everything around you green. They are so weird. I don't wear them too often. Anyway, I was just um, clearing out the bag and thought I would share with y'all my, my Quay collection. Here's everything that I pulled out of the sunglass case. I have some just random sunglasses, some mask, hand sanitizers. You can see everything has that black schmitz all over it. So a lot of this I'll probably just throw away. I'll try to wipe like that. I want to just wipe down uh, these K19 masks. I do like to have still like when I'm in the airport and th things where I can't get away from somebody that would might be sick. Like if, if I was on the airplane having to sit next to somebody who was coughing, I would want to have one of these masks in my purse uh, to put on, so just to be safe. So I will get that cleaned up, and it looks like I have some here that I, I probably used for travel. And anyway, let me get all this clear, cleaned up and um, decide what I'm going to keep and what I'm going to throw things away. that I had in these little glass drawstring bags, these were from the Dollar Tree. Well, they served their purpose. They're, they weren't bad. So this was just... Uh, actually only had one pair of extra sunglasses. These are good to have, like if my daughter's in the car with me and or we need just a throw down pair of sunglasses. These are some, I think we got these at JCPenney's for like five bucks. Anyway, and then my peepers, these are the ones that you wear 
like for the tannin bed. And then in one of the cases I had the scissors and the other case I had some pins and then this little like emergency flashlight. So here's what I have. I think I'll just put the pins in the console of the car, throw down glasses, the little flashlight and my scissors and then my papers. And then these I can add to my uh, donate bin. There's nothing wrong with them and um, somebody can Everything use them. Everything that's going in the trash. I don't really know what to do with these vacuum coins. I know the place that they came from doesn't take vacuum coins like this anymore. Uh, I don't know. I hate to throw them in the trash. Maybe I'll add them to the, the donate bin. Maybe there's another place that takes them. I don't know. But anyway, I think I'll put them in the donate bin and I don't, I don't, I don't go out and about vacuuming the car. So anyway, I'll get all this Here's thrown in the bag the that I used for my sunglass collection. The original seat belt bags. You can look up seat belt bag. It's a company out of California, I believe Harvey's and they sell all different ones. They actually have Disney, Snoopy, uh, just different bags these bags are kind of spendy they are literally made from a seat belt and um i paid five dollars for this one i got it at the goodwill in alvin texas and it's it's been my my go-to bag ever since from a sunglass collection got a lot of particles down there so i'm gonna get out the vacuum cleaner and get it vacuum cleaned up and um, I actually opened up the pocket and there was some stuff in here. Uh, here is the St. Christopher Motorist Prayer. Grant me, O Lord, a steady hand and a watchful eye that no one shall be hurt as I pass by. You gave life. I pray no act of mine may take away or mar that gift of thine. Shelter those, dear Lord, who bear me company from the evils of fire and all calamity. Teach me to use my car for others' needs, nor miss through love of undue speed the beauty of the world, that thus I may with joy and courtesy go on my way. St. Christopher, holy patron of travelers, protect me and lead me safely to my destiny. Amen. So I did get this at the Basilica in San Juan, Texas. I just think it's pretty. And so I did have that in my in my container. Anyway, I'm gonna get this vacuumed out and then we'll put the bag what back. Prompted together. all this redo is about a month or so ago. A company called Dima or Dima Eyewear sent me two pair of sunglasses to unbox and review with y'all. And uh, so I wanted to incorporate those into my collection as well, but I didn't want to incorporate them with the funky sunglass cases shedding everywhere. So I want to get these ready to go in to the bag Here as are well. The new sunglasses that I just got. This pair was a $45.90. It's called the Nova Style. And then this pair was $39.90. And its style is called Gina. So I will leave y'all a uh, pinned comment with a link to the video where I shared these sunglasses with you. If you're looking for a nice, good quality sunglass for spring, for summer, check out their website and, and see if you can't uh, find something you might like on so there. Just going back in the little purse, some mask, a lint roller, black ice. I believe I got that at the Dollar Tree. The two new Dima sunglasses. These are, I didn't really share that with y'all, but they are in these little drawstring satin bags. Of course, my quays that are, my quay cases that are still good. And then the other um, quays that were in the bags that weren't so good. Here it is. Everything fits perfectly. I do believe that while I'm on vacation, if we get a chance to stop in at some Dollar Trees, I'm going to look for some more of these. I haven't been able to find these, um, the black ones, anywhere locally. And I would like to replace these so that everything is this, the same. I mean, I wouldn't even mind putting these new sunglasses in these better cases. So, that's it.
I'm gonna take you outside and I'll share with you how I have it in the car. I have it. I have this little net I picked up at Dirt Cheap quite a quite a few years ago, and I just have it there. So uh, my glasses ride tight, <laughs> and if you know you put on the brake, they don't fall forward and spill out everywhere. And uh, if I'm gonna be out of the car, sometimes I'll just put like a pile of napkins or something over the top of it so nobody can see what's in the little bag got the car wiped down some the mosquitoes are horrible guys horrible horrible got the center console wiped down when i say i put a pile of napkins over that little sunglass case that's what i mean got the oil changed in the car a week or two ago and they vacuumed it i mean it's not perfect guys but it's fine with me at least i didn't have to vacuum it and I don't have to get bit up by the mosquitoes. But anyway, guys, that is it for the car. Today I'm here at Ollie's. Let's go see if we can find some good stuff cheap. These are curtains. And they have some cute Easter items. This is Star Wars Mandalorian spatula and whisk set for $3.99. These little dishes with Snoopy on them. $5.99 for Ross, but they're here for $2.99. Some Mandalorian spoon rest. Extra cute. And they have some Mickey Mouse spoon rest. They were $2.99. Look like they also came from Ross. this out 20 quote cards plus puffy stickers these are bob ross quote cards for $1.99 every painting is going to be different and that's what makes it great and it's got like the postcard information on it how funny this I didn't know anything like this existed. Check out these Harley Davidson books. $12.99. So we have four of them here. There's another one. And yet another one, the ultimate, ultimate encyclopedia from classic to custom, $9.99. And Harley Davidson Knucklehead, 80 years, $12.99. Hmm. This one at the Dollar Tree, you get 2.5 ounces for $1.25. And here they have it for five ounces for $2.79. 50 pack of the, it says flocked, probably velvet coat hangers for $9.99. This type of curtain I brought back. The Eclipse Room Darkening. What I needed was the blackout panels. This is more like what I wanted, although I don't want sea glass color. Anyway, they're $5.99 as well. This isn't a bad deal, actually, if, if it's a color you want. Here they are for $5.99. Unfortunately, I didn't buy anything today at Ollie's, but I did capture some, some little bit of fish that I thought I would share with each of you. Let's get this a filthy car wash. Tidal Wave Graphic 4X, four layers of paint. They do some pre-scrubbing. was even behind the car doing a little bit of a washing up. The moonroof today. It's a pretty day in Texas, so I thought I would open it up.
on getting things packed up. I already have my outfit over here, my vintage Havanas. This is uh, just an outfit. I'm not too excited to wear it, so I think it'll be good for flying. Uh, it's just a pair of Victoria's Secret leggings. I like these because they have the pockets, so I will be able to put my, uh, you know, my ID in my pocket while I'm going through the, the lines there at the airport and my cell phone on the other side. This outfit requires me to wear an undershirt, which is why I think it'll be good if I just go ahead and wear this while I'm traveling. And then a long sleeve shirt. Although it's hot here in Texas, it is not hot in New England. So that, that's my outfit I'm gonna be wearing. I stopped in at HEB and I got two of these bags, one bag at least in case we overbuy and I need a bag to come home with. If not, my daughter loves these. Um, Texas bags um, for reusable bags. So I got two of them. At the very least, one will come back to Texas with me and one will stay with her. And if I don't need it, both will just stay with her. I got all my um, bath products in there, minus the things that I'll need when I go take my bath here in a little bit. And I have a snack bag. So once I start packing, I'll see which snacks I can take and which ones I don't need. Of course, I need a coat. I have two extra sweatshirts. I have six outfits, a pair of pajamas, an easy shirt and easy shorts just to wear in case we're lounging around. I'll have something comfortable and I have some more socks in the washing machine. And then I have my brand new pillow slides and another pair of tennis shoes in case I need them. And I'll decide when I'm packing how much room I have if I need those. But I, I usually travel with my big Louis Vuitton purse. This time I want to try traveling with only my, my bum bag. And so here's what I have that needs to go in there. My charger, because you never know at the airport if you're going to get delayed. You want to make sure you have a charger. I like to carry a long charger in case I'm sitting kind of far from a charging station. Some Kleenex, of course, my credit cards and those i have a little bit of medicine that i I'm, i'll need for in the morning some cash of course my keys some breath um fresheners i definitely always want to have some chapstick hand sanitizer some snacks some gum for like the cabin pressure when we're ascending and descending my airpods and I bought these hooks for my AirPods because uh, last time I traveled, my AirPod flew out of my ear and went between the seat and I, almost, I, I suffered a really bad contusion on my arm trying to get it out. So we don't wanna do that again. Here's my list. Had a small snafu with the washing machine and it will not rinse. So I had to take my clothes and throw them in my neighbor's washing machine. And uh, so, so I haven't been able to um finish packing but um this is just a tried and true packing list that i created here it is if you want to pause the screen this is for winter time i also have one for traveling during the summer and it just i know if i have everything on this list i am good for a week so here it is i do print out you know a couple copies of it so i can pack along the way a lot of things I scribbled out, I've decided I just don't need this time. And everything else I've been checking off as I go. I did notice that I didn't have hairspray on the list. So that would be um, bad if I ended up on vacation without hairspray. So I added it. That way when I come back, I can modify this list and um, you know fix it up. So here's what I got. Everything there. Um, once I get it, everything right here, once I get it into my bag, I'll get it marked off, but here it is. We're we're almost we're almost packed up. We're waiting on that load of clothes to Here's wash. Here's my bum bag. It is full, guys. You know, but this is just for the plane trip. Once I'm at my daughter's, it will not be near that full while we're you know on on vacation and we're doing all the things. But this is really basically super full because of that phone charger and the snacks. So once you know I eat some of the snacks and um, I can take the phone charger out. Once we get to my daughter's, I think I'll be good. So for the sake of this video, I won't get to um, finish packing with y'all, but 
just wanted to share with you my process and how I get things done. Um, yeah, I got to get this video edited and get it scheduled um, to go live. So I want to have make sure I have time for that. Hope you have enjoyed this week's vlog. Stay tuned to the channel. Throughout the week, I will have a Dollar Tree haul, thrift store haul, a Goose Creek candle haul, and in lieu of a vlog next week, I will have another Dollar Tree haul for y'all. So stay tuned for those videos. And when I come back, I will have some vacation videos for y'all to see. If you have enjoyed this week's vlog, please give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below. Become part of my friends here on YouTube. And I will see each of you in my next video. Bye, guys.